Gowdy of South Carolina is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, Ms. Warren. The first question I'm going to ask you is directly from the constituent of mine in South Carolina, yes, who sir. is in the uh, business of providing financial services. Mm -hmm. What steps will you take to ensure that complaints received by the Bureau are legitimate ones and not merely post-contractual gripes against a company when uh, the consumer decides they don't want to live with the terms? Well, Congressman, I'm glad you asked about the complaint system. It's one of the most significant features, I think, of the new consumer agency. And what we're planning to do with it is instead of having sort of a general complaint line, we're really trying to develop more effective complaint resolution in the consumer agency on a product-by-product -product basis. So, for example, we'll be starting with credit cards. And uh, what we're hoping to do is we're working on setting up a hotline and a form online for people who have had problems with their credit card issuers and they believe perhaps that there have been violations of law and want to get in touch with the new consumer agency. Will the complaints be made public? Because I think you'll agree with me that unfounded, uns unsubstantiated complaints have a deleterious effect on the, uh, the accused. So what we'll be doing, and I, I really want to give a shout out here to five of the largest credit card companies in the country who are working with us right now on a way that as soon as we receive a complaint, that complaint can go directly to the credit card companies. They can help us understand whether the complaint has merit, they have the opportunity to try to resolve it with the customer, uh, keeping us in the loop on Is that what's just going. for credit card companies or is it for all financial service providers? So here's what I want to make clear. As we build this. I've only got this five is, minutes. I'm not I, trying to cut you off, but, I, but there are other things I'd like to ask you. Fair so. enough, sir. I'm just trying to give you a picture. Are of the what complaints we're doing. public? Well, let's try that with a yes and no answer. Congressman, I've tried to describe the process for one product. We're trying to get this product right, and we've had a lot of cooperation from the credit card companies. I'm probably not answering before, my question very artfully. No, Are the complaints public, yes or no? Congressman, there is no single answer for all products in the same way. Are any we're of working, the complaints public? Congressman, we don't have any complaints yet. What we're trying to do is build a system to deal with So complaints. you do have the discretion to keep the complaints non-public, if you like. What we're trying to do is work with the industry to find a complaint system that works for American families and works for those who are providing them services. We're in the middle of that process. This is part of Stand Up, and we are glad, Congressman, to hear from you to hear from your constituents, and to hear from everyone else about this process. We're an open door on this subject. Well, thank you. I will encourage them to uh, participate. I want to ask Good. you about some of the definitions. I saw in a, a definition for abusive. Um, let's see if I can. Materially interferes with the ability of a consumer to understand a term of condition of a consumer financial product or service. Um, that suggests to me that some interferences are immaterial. Is that what you meant by that? Congressman, I believe the language you're quoting is out of the Dodd-Frank Act and it's Congress's intention. Not, I, I believe, if well, I'm not well, mistaken, I don't have a copy well, of it with me here. Will you not be the one enforcing that? Congressman, Will you is, set regulations that define these terms? Congressman, it is, this is the guidance that Congress has given you. I'm asking you, are some interferences immaterial? I, 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 Congressman, we will go through the process of interpreting the language that Congress has given us. <laughs> I don't mean for that to be a trick question. Are some interferences immaterial? Because the word material modifies interference. Congressman, I want to be clear about this. It's statutory language that you're asking. There's a process in place for the Consumer Bureau. You don't want me standing here shooting from the hip about how I might want to interpret individual language. Well, let me ask you about the second one. It also defines it as an unreasonable advantage or taking un unreasonable advantage of a consumer's lack of understanding. Are there some instances where taking advantage of a consumer's lack of understanding are reasonable? Congressman, this is the language that Congress has adopted in the Dodd-Frank Act. Ultimately, it will fall to this Bureau through a lengthy process to interpret this on a case-by-case -case basis. I believe it would be irresponsible 
for me to stand here and pop off about how I would interpret particular words. Do there's you believe reason, that there's a duty to educate or a duty to learn on behalf of the consumer? I, I believe that consumers want to learn. I think they want to know. Well, that's what their a different question. Are. I didn't ask whether or not they wanted to. Do you believe that there's a duty to do it since the law itself says consumers' inability to protect his own interests? Do you agree that there's a duty to educate yourself? Congressman, we have, as part of our responsibility under the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau laws, undertaking consumer financial education. And I embrace this. I think it is exactly where this is that a agency yes? should be. Is that a yes? We are going to help consumers by giving them products where prices are clear, where risks are clear, where they can make comparisons. Is there a duty to I, educate yourself, yes or no? I believe that an empowered consumer is a consumer who can not only protect himself or herself, but one who can change the market. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I give up.